our pets have many of the same organs as we do, and that includes kidneys. But what do they do, and how do they? How do we know if there's a problem? To help us and stay tuned with our pet's kidney health, our pet vet, Dr. David Visser, joins us with some helpful advice. Doctor. Good morning, Natasha. It's, um, it's important to realize that uh, pets have kidneys just like we do, and they have some very important purposes. We have two kidneys, they have two kidneys. So there's a lot of things that are very similar. This is why we need to respect them so much. They're so much like us. And what are some of the main functions of the kidneys? Well, the kidneys do a lot of different things. Most, of the, most importantly, they're getting rid of toxins, much like the people who are bringing in toxic paper that's, that's bothering their home. This is a way in which the body shreds those toxins out of the body, so to speak, and also uh, an important function of keeping water in the body. But it also, people aren't aware that it activates vitamin D and the process of vitamin D development in the body. There are ways in which it manages blood pressure, and it even makes a hormone that's involved in making red blood cells in the body. So lots of things that are uh, important functions of the kidneys. And what are some of the kinds of things that can cause kidneys to start having problems? Well, the, th the causes can be numerous. There's inflammation or infections that can happen within the kidneys. There's also changes in the way that the filter structure uh, works, where instead of keeping things in the body, it gets lost from the body, or the opposite, that things that should be kept in the body are actually lost from the body in that way. Stones can form, crystals can form that uh, create stones, and that can form up in the kidneys or in the lower urinary tract. But when it forms in the kidneys, it's a much more tricky thing. And uh, there's also, uh, like any cell in the body, the tendency or the potential to develop tumors or growths. But one of the aging changes that happens, or one of the toxic changes that happens, is when the functional part of the kidney changes into scar tissue. That's no longer functioning like kidney, and that is what creates end-stage kidney disease. There's a term called kidney failure, which I don't really like the word because it sounds like it's all over. But kidney failure means it's not absolutely able to do its job, and it's starting to struggle doing its job. And that is where chronic kidney management comes in from your veterinarian. And are there any signs that people, like some of our viewers, can be looking out for? Yeah, it's important to realize that some of the things that people will notice might be subtle, but uh, it's important to realize that while its job is to keep water in the body, there might be an increase in urine production, and there could be an increase in thirst to make up for it. Um, so there's lots of different things that, um, that people will notice, but in not getting rid of the toxins, it can also make a pet feel ill, not necessarily eating as much as normal. But there are things that we can do to look into it. One of the things uh, is that's important to start is a physical exam and while the kidneys are difficult to feel from the outside there are ways in which we can identify kidney function by doing a urine test kidney blood tests even x-rays ultrasound or collecting a sample of the kidney to find out what the process is that's going on in the kidney in order to uh, take care of what might be involved in treatment and that's the next thing that uh, is important to talk about well thank you so much dr. Visser and when we come back we'll have yeah, if you, want to, if you want to contact the pet vet, Dr. David Visser, you can reach to him at the Center for Animal Health by calling 888-PETS-VETS, or you could always shoot him an email at michianapetvet.comcast.net.